In this quick start tutorial, I want to show you how to use Sundog to build a song, including chords, bassline and melody. It will sound like this. Sundog is a standalone software and you can connect it to any DAW or synth to create your melodies. In this tutorial I use a virtual MIDI cable to connect Sundog to Ableton Live. Different Sundog channels are connected to different Ableton channels via MIDI. First we pick a bass note and a scale. Sundog will use this information to make sure that your chords and melodies always stay harmonic. Ok, let's create a melody. Pick one of the instrument boxes, then click on Fill Editor with Basic Sequence. Sundog will create a red line over here. Let's play it back. The box above will trigger the pattern below. You can draw lines to control the pitch of the pattern. Click on a pattern slot to add a note and click twice to add a stop symbol. Sundog includes a big list of factory patterns. Click here and you will see them. You can click on items to hear a preview. and click a second time to stop. I will use this pattern now. Alright, let's continue with the drum kit. According to the MIDI standard, the MIDI channel 10 is reserved for drums. Once again, click on Fill Editor with Basic Sequence. Then click on Fixed Note and choose a bass drum. I will do the same for the hi-hats and the clap. Ok, let's take a look at the chords now. Pick an instrument and click on chords. What you see here is a matrix of chords of our scale. You can find triads in the upper part and four note chords in the lower part. Let's create a chord progression now. We want to take these chords for our song and I press use chords. Now all we have to do is clicking on follow the chords with this instrument. As you can see the source mode is set to full chords now. For our melody we used scale notes. In full chords mode the pattern will trigger all the chord notes at once. Next step, the bassline. Many basslines will focus on the lowest note of the current chord and play it back with a certain rhythm. So let's click on follow the chord notes with this instrument. Play it back and lower the octave a bit. I will change the length to 8 
and make a small variation. Click on OCT with your left mouse button to transpose the note one octave higher or use your right mouse button to lower the octave. Our final step, let's create an arpeggio. Click on Follow the chord notes. The source mode is set to chord notes now. This means that the zero in the pattern will play back the first note of the chord, the one will play back the second note and so on. In the end, we can simply export our song to the DAW via drag and drop. You can find a step-by-step -step text of this video at feelyoursound.com slash Sundog Quickstart. There's a lot of other stuff that Sundog can do for you. Just take a look at the other tutorials and check out the manual. <laughs>